This is all a depressed Jets fan can do these days, is just cuddle with their Jets pillow pet. Because the Jets are not going to give them any type of thing, anything good, in my lifetime. But that's not what we're here to talk about. And I'm mostly hugging this guy because I don't have Joe by my side for this one. I'm a little lonely. But I'm going to put him down because the Jets suck, and they gave me the worst season ever, and that's not what we're here to talk about. What's up? I'm Brendan. You're watching the channel to Agree to Disagree, which I'm very happy you're watching. But you have to subscribe. I need subscribers. Please, guys, please subscribe for us. We really need it. I want comments below after the end of the video. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me. And you guys are doing great. 800, 800 plus views in less than a week. Love it. Okay. This is going to be rough. I don't have Joe, but let's get through this. This is going to be more of a reaction video to uh, the past weekend uh, NFC and AFC championship games. And then I'm going to give you my Super Bowl pick. And I'll explain why. Okay, so we'll start with the 49ers and the Falcons. Let, what can we say about this? I really didn't know who was going to win this. I knew it was going to be a battle to the end, and it was. Eh. But there was one point where the Falcons thought they'd run away with it. They were up 17-7 to at one point, and you were saying, wow, look at these Falcons. They, Matt Ryan's actually shown up to play. Excuse me, they were up 17 nothing to one point. And you were like, Matt Ryan, it's his year, he's finally going to do it. Nope, not at all. 49ers came all the way back to win it 28-24. Great battle. Colin Kaepernick, 16 for 21 with 233 yards, one touchdown. In the rushing, Frank Gore did great. 21 carries, 90 yards, two touchdowns. That would, what it came down to, in my mind, is Atlanta's rush defense did not do that well it could not stop frank gore colin kaepernick had 21 yards for two carries like come on they could not stop him in my in my mind that is what won the 49ers was the difference was the 49ers rushing atlanta's rushing there was nothing they didn't really rush at all they couldn't they couldn't get anywhere with the rushing uh i'm rooting for the 49ers all the way through and I love Colin Kaepernick. I love his story. Still don't agree with taking that job away from Alex Smith. But still, great story to follow. 49ers is your winner. 28-24. I'm happy. Now let's get to the next one. Patriots and Ravens. We all knew this was going to be an interesting game. It's a rematch of a title game that happened last year. And Ray Lewis has spiked up the emotion by saying, announcing he's going to retire after the season is over. And now you're just saying Ray Lewis, probably one of the best defensive players in NFL history, needs to win it this year. So what happens? Obviously, we all know Patriots didn't show up. Tom Brady didn't show up. Threw, a, threw for 320 yards, but you can't do that with two interceptions. He only threw one touchdown. Joe Flacco bettered him. He was 21 for 36 with three touchdowns and 240 yards. Once again, here comes the Patriots' number one issue, passing defense. I They have no secondary in my mind. They can't do it. And that's why they're so good against the Jets because they're good at rush defense. Ray Rice was only 19, had 19 carries for 48 yards. Ray Rice is one of the best in the league. They stopped him. This is why he beats the Jets all the time. Of course, Tom Brady just didn't, he just decided to choke. I don't know what happened. That was a collapse. I was not expecting to lose that much. I was expecting that to be a close game, too. Ray Lewis is absolutely phenomenal right now, though. He's just going off on a tangent. He's just playing some of the best football he's played in his career at 37 years old. It's just amazing. Uh, now we'll get the Super Bowl pick. As much as everyone's on the Colin Kaepernick bandwagon... I kind of wish I was, but I'm not. Colin Kaepernick's great, but I'm not on the bandwagon. I'm rooting for the 49ers, but I'm not on the bandwagon. Got the Harbaugh Super Bowl, as they've been saying. Jim and John, I'm going with the Ravens. The Ravens are going to win the Super Bowl with this final score of 24-17. Here's a few key things for me. Ravens, 49ers, probably debatable but probably the two best defenses in the league today going up against each other. My only difference is Joe Flacco. I think Joe Flacco is going to take it to the house. He's going to pass for mm, 
300 plus yards, going to get three touchdowns. And Ray Lewis, he's just too determined. I don't think Kaepernick is going to pierce that defense. I really don't think he's going to be good in the Wildcat. I think he'll have a good passing game. But I, there's too much emotional hype for them Ravens to lose. I, I, it's just way too much. And Kaepernick's way too inexperienced. He's only played nine games in the NFL. He's surrounded by a really good team, so it makes him look better. But I think he's going to crack under pressure. This is the Super Bowl. This is, the, this is a lot bigger than the title game. I think he's going to crack. So I'm giving my pick to the Ravens to win it. 24-17 around that area. Joe Flacco, main difference. Ray Lewis will be my second difference. Ray Lewis, he's going to get to Kaepernick. He's going to get him, and he's going to continue to do what he does best, what he's done, arguably the best defensive player ever in the NFL. He's going to play defense, and I don't see the Ravens losing this one. It's going to be a long, hard fought battle, though. It's definitely going to be a close one, but I'm giving it to the Ravens. Now, I did my first solo video i want to hear what you have to say in the comments down below come on guys and you subscribe as in the words of joe it takes that much effort just that much effort to hit subscribe we really need subscribers but other than that the views are great i'm loving the feedback give me feedback give me a text go follow us on twitter i'm gonna put a twitter down there we got a facebook fan page like it i'm gonna put it down there too other than that it's a time to agree to disagree